Hey guys, it's Shan Shan, and welcome to another episode of Yes Ma'am or No Ma'am. Okay, so remember that little pixie wig that I got from Door Hair that was super big and super cute, but really not, it was a no ma'am. So I have it on right now. I did some cutting to it. Um, I'll put like a little video of me doing the cutting somewhere here. Mind you, I am not a hairstylist. I hate doing my hair, hence me wearing wigs. So just know that it was not a professional thing, obviously. So we cut the hair and then I co-wash it again and then uh, put some mousse in it and then this is it. So we did a dry run of it today. Um, in uniform, and this is it. I'll turn to the back. And it came out cute. I mean, it's not the best wig that I've ever had, and uh, it is a human hair wig, so I did, like, literally cut half the hair off. So that was a waste of money, but that's okay. I'm learning as I go. Um, but it is... It does look a little bit more polished than it did when we initially got it. So let's get into our trying out the criteria. All right. So first, is it above the collar? Yes. Here's the collar of my military jacket. It meets that criteria. And is it less than three and a half inches in bulk for my scalp? Just looking at it. The first time we tried this wig on, we were like, I don't know. But this time we don't even have to ask. We know that it's gonna be three and a half in less than three and a half inches. So here's my three and a half inch mark right here. Put it here, way farther. My pointer finger is a three and a half inches. Way far. So totally meets that rig. Is it off the brow? So I don't know if you guys remember, but initially when we first got the wig, it was super cute, super big, had the little swoop and whatnots, totally was on the brow. So now that I've cut it, um, it falls above the brow. So we're good there. Is it bunnable? Not applicable to this wig, doesn't go in a ponytail. And last but not least, does it look good in headgear? So let's see. So as you know, we always start with the fancy hat, probably the least used hats, the least used of hats. I'm going to put it on. Sorry, somebody's outside cutting their lawn. Haven't done anything all day and they decide to right now, but that's okay. All right, so here's the hat here. It went on pretty okay. I don't know if I like this on the side, but still got the little clowny look going on, but that's okay. Bye. Parallel, I'm sure. Back. The side. All right, so I'd give this a yes, ma'am, from this hat. And then let's try our second most used hat that we, excuse me, probably the most used hat that we use in the military. Control cap. Look how it wasn't easy. I just, when I'm coming out of a building, I should be able to just go like this and have my hat on secure and snug. Shouldn't have to think about it and play with it too much. All right. So I threw it on, as you saw, real quick. I still got some hair here. I'm not supposed to show under the bill. I would have to adjust that. Still sticks out on the side. That's okay. From the side, is it parallel, ladies? Who knows? And then from the back. You always have to make, yep. Looks like it got turned over and underneath in the back. That's a pain. So sometimes you'll see a lot of um, females if they're wearing different hairstyles, they'll buy different size hats. This size hat is actually um, my standard when I wear like just like a little simple wig or whatever. This is a size seven and a half. So if I really wanted to see if I could wear this, this hat, um, with this wig, I'd probably have to go a size up. All right, so that's a yes ma'am, no ma'am, maybe ma'am for that. And then last but not least, you know our garrison cap, the hat that we love to hate. Okay, so that actually went on pretty fast and pretty easy. Issue with this hat is, this is actually one that I wear the most. Um, just because I wear flight suits and I'm in school, so we 
usually wear a dress uniform a lot. Um, it went on pretty easy. It looks okay. Um, however, when I go to move outside today, I was really afraid to just dip down or sort of look down or anything because I'm it's just it's loose on my head. And I like to have my hats nice and snug. I don't want to have to worry about any it coming off at all. And I know you can do bobby pins and stuff, but who wants to do that? Okay. So those are the three hats. Um, headgear approved, it, it just really depends on how much work you want to put in. You know, you're already working, you're already busy. On top of this, you don't have to worry about that. So me personally, I don't know. It's still a no man for me, this wig. Maybe if I got a bigger hat or something. It's still cute though. I like it. There was this YouTube video that made me actually want to buy this wig, and I'll post it, post the link below. She slayed this wig. It was super cute, but, you know, amateur over here. So, that's okay. Tell me what you think in the comments. Thank you for coming to Yes Ma'am, No Ma'am. See you soon.